process of making the straps to see if the straps are the right size. So this will be a charge plate, five neutral plates, another charge plate, and I'll have another strap just like this one coming up here and then over to the other set. So like this would be a negative charge plate and then this would be positive and it would go up and around 10 plates. So that's what it's looking like. Just kind of mocked it up for now with all the washers in there. Just got to find the position for where I want to drill each one and then I got to start drilling all these plates. That'll be a blast. I started drilling out all the straps. They're just about done. I don't have a drill press, so this is my method. Oh, that's not a good method, apparently. I only have a hundred holes left, so I gotta do all these plates, two holes in each plate. It's gonna suck. Alright, back at the drilling. Did end up buying a drill press. I uh, kind of underestimated the drilling of the stainless a little bit. A little more difficult than I thought. So what I'm doing here is I got a template marking my spots I want to drill. It took me a while to find a good combination for what I want to do how I wanted to drill this and one that would actually go through pretty decent. So that goes through just like butter. Just using water to keep it metal cool. That's working pretty decent. That's where I'm at with these. Got them all scuffed up. As you can see, I just used a sander. I know I said I keep changing the design a little bit. So I still want to do the straps, like I was talking about here, but my original plan was to run these through the center of the plates with this over the top like an insulation because I was being cheap and didn't want to buy nylon threaded rod but I'm just gonna bite the bullet and go find some probably go try to find some tomorrow and get this thing together once I started to try to assemble this thing with all these different uh, straps in between I realized it was gonna be much more of a chore to assemble than I wanted. So with the nylon threaded rod, I'll just be able to slap it together and put two nuts on the end of it and then call it good. I'm all done with this now. Uh, four more plates left. This took me probably about two hours to do this and I was sticking around with it for like three days, just messing around with these plates, trying to find the best way to drill it. One that was gonna be easy and not really tear up the bits too much. Um, and I did this whole pile in under two hours with a Harbor Freight drill bit. Well, here it is, all 48 of the plates. Cut and drilled, I did decide to go back over the other side with the drill instead of the grinder, just to clean up the holes. But I think it turned out pretty decent. So, we'll see, I'm gonna look for some of that nylon threaded rod, and then we'll jam this thing together and get it working.